Hey guys, welcome back to XTA. Today we're going to talk about a video player that's free on the Play Store, supports a lot of video formats, but also has a very nice little feature that you could try if you decide to go to Pro. Let's check it out. So download the application, install it on your device. I'll give you guys a link in the description. It's called VXG Player. The interface itself is actually pretty simple. When you first turn it on, it has a built-in file explorer. You have the ability of going in and looking at it. You can either jump directly at my videos and it lists all the videos that you have. And these are videos that it's actually recorded itself. So these are not the videos that you have on your entire system. So my videos is really recording to the R, so the recorded videos. When you go to files, you have access to your files. It does actually automatically index the camera folder. If you insert or add any new media, you're able to use the little refresh button here and it will refresh the data, the, the data and aggregate it by folder. So it aggregates them the way they have here. The reason why we have two folders here is one where the testing I did before to use one of the functionalities, which is the screen record option. And the second, uh, re uh, obviously, folder is our camera. If we go into settings, we don't have a lot of different things, but I'm going to kind of go through them quickly. There are gestures built into this actual application. So you have the ability of using gestures to skip back uh, tracks. And then you also have the ability of controlling volume and video speed built into the actual system. Uh, there has options you can set to resume on play, full screen mode. The default option is it's stretched, cropped, depending on the size of the video. Sometimes it doesn't play correctly. But that's, that's more to the format of the video that you have. And then you have gesture swipe right, swipe left. They're not configured, but the only options you get right now is to skip to the next track or, skip, uh, uh, or go back. And for me, I would have liked to see something where it gives us the ability to kind of like maybe jump 10 seconds in the video or 30 seconds in the video, or even just an option to be able to just, you know, jump forward. Uh, but I'll explain to you how we do that in the actual video itself. And of course, it gives us the ability of uh, looking on our hint on seek. So it gives us the ability of previewing it. Uh, for some reason that option is twice and then audio files make sure that it plays in and also gives you the ability of checking that you know you're using video encoding a uh, decoding acceleration audio video synchronization for uh, online streams sometimes they're not connected together or they're not running at the same time recording on it is in there and by default is set to 10 seconds in the free version this is the free version of the app fully functional as a media player but the limitation is within the recording and i'll get to that in a second and then um, only video in case you do want to do that, but that's depending on your options. Uh, we'll go back again. Um, I recorded a couple of videos on the camera just to, for testing, but the main one, when we look at it, you can see here, obviously it's playing the video here and I can actually just do the seeking here. So it kind of does the preview as I'm seeking. I'm able to raise the volume. I'm also able to change the speed and I'm hoping you guys could see this. So I can change the speed of the video down and it jumps on to the next video and here's my son doing some exercises at home and the beauty of it is once you're done so let's say we're playing the video you want to record you can hit the r button and it tells you obviously the free version has a 10 second limitation but it records audio and video straight off the screenshot itself and then it'll save it in the recorded media side once it's done i have it automatic playing here we'll go back and it actually adds another file, as you noticed. Now I have a third file saying I've recorded, and it records it and shows it to us. And it gives us the same thing. That's the beauty of it. It does a really good recording. The quality is not that bad, actually. But again, I'm playing it back on the same device I recorded it on. So we kind of keep, keep that in mind when we're looking at it. It does uh, handle online streams, and it also handles local media really well. The video player is very nice. It works really good as far as what it wants to provide you. The playback is smooth. You're able to record your screen up to 10 seconds with the free version. You can go obviously longer if you go with the pro version. Uh, again, if you do so, please be mindful of the copyright laws where you are. Uh, but the functionality is really nice and it's there. And this is what kind of makes this free application unique. Uh, of course, limited to 10 seconds in the free version is kind of not as unique, but it is actually built in if you decide to go to the pro. I like this functionality. I used to have an application that used to provide similar functionalities that went pro and I had to buy it, but I still like the application. And when I saw this, I figured maybe this is something with nice functionality that you guys might be interested in trying out. So let me know in the comments if this is something that you're interested in trying out or if you've used other applications, please share with us what you like. Uh, but as usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week.